Good afternoon and welcome back to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm your host, Jill Malandrino, global markets reporter at NASDAQ. Joining me live at market site is Eric Tippett. He's a co-founder of NASGO. We're going to focus on making cryptocurrency more pervasive, a big hot topic that we have here on Trade Talks. Eric, thanks so much for joining me at market site today. Now, let's talk about tokenization. Um, I could create my own branded token, right? What would my business do with that as an example or two? So tokenization is a way to bridge the gap between a brand, a mission, and a purpose, and help people start to collaborate, communicate with each other using tokens. Very different than if you think about a Bitcoin or something in crypto, it's, uh, it's more of a currency where tokenization is bringing people together and connecting. All right, so part of your goal here is to help make cryptocurrency fully legitimized, of course, and yep. becoming more pervasive. Why is that important to you, and what will it mean if we get mass adoption? Well, I, you know, we come from the stands of a voice of every entrepreneur around the world. Mm -hmm. And if you think about cryptocurrency, it's speculative. People look at it as a risk and, and all about the money side of it, where in reality, tokenization or crypto is a digital currency. And when you start to rise up above everything and look at the world being able to connect and exchange in a global ecosystem, mm -hmm. For us, that's a very powerful thing because you're breaking through boundaries, you're breaking through uh, all the firewalls, all the, it's really limitless that you can provide a global ecosystem all connecting. And what are you doing to help forward that effort? <sighs> Two things. Uh, one is building an infrastructure that helps facilitate that. You know, that's a major issue is people are, you know, they're just starting to learn, so there's a lot of education. But you have to build tools that people can adopt it's easy to fit into the habits of what they, they consume or what they do every single day. So we've really tried to make that a very simple process right. and make it to where people can utilize cryptocurrency in everything they do. So tell me about the NASCO blockchain internet application platform. Is this something that you started recently or is this the backbone of what NASCO is? Whew, that's a lot of <laughs> that's blood, a lot. sweat, and tears. <laughs> no, it, I, it, this is five years ago that we, create, we started creating and, and coding and developing it. We just launched March 19th of this year. Mm -hmm. And really the whole purpose, you know, we're entrepreneurs. And we, I feel like I'm on here as a voice to mm -hmm. all entrepreneurs around the world. NASGO is a way to build a free and open, a, a collaborative community that can all be in one place and not have all of the typical restrictions or uh, red tape of you know, merchants accounts, uh, firewalls, everything that you want to do. A, you know, a young man in, or woman in India, how would they have an idea and be able to create something that had a global presence? And so that's what NASCO does. I've, I've read that um, a goal of NASCO is to become the go daddy um, of the blockchain. What do you mean by that and what are you doing to make that happen? Yeah, well, I mean, when people talk about blockchain, I think their eyes go glazed over. Mm -hmm. And so nobody talks about the Internet as HTML, like, hey, let's get on some HTML. It's what's built on it. So GoDaddy, you know, they really were the first ones that built it very accessible to go on to the Internet, mm -hmm. onto the World Wide Web. So we built a block box, a blockchain toolbox that helps you create a domain on blockchain. It helps put your website on blockchain mm -hmm. and tokenizes your company to in, in create an incentivized loyalty, incentivized caring and sharing with your community. Okay, help me understand that better because you're right. Blockchain can be complicated to understand. Yes. So everyone can have a blockchain domain is what you're saying. Yes. Um, that sounds exciting. Now, what, what do I do with that? So a couple things. Uh, one is to be able to go out to your community. Mm -hmm. It gives them a place to come and collaborate with you, to innovate with you. And so to be between having a domain address, just think of it no different than the World Wide Web. Mm -hmm. I have a .com address. Well, we, we look at, you know, pe companies are taking, companies public on the stock exchange. Mm -hmm. We're really taking people and brands and missions uh, public on the block exchange, meaning a domain on this exchange, this, this internet, decentralized internet. We spoke about this earlier. What's it going to take for the general investing public to understand this and adopt it as mainstream technology? A lot of education. Yep. I think education is number one. I think people need to understand that, you know, cryptocurrency, it's not a bad thing. That's what I get. I get super bummed out about that everybody does it in a, it's investing and it's, it's up and down in volatility. Mm -hmm. It can be a beautiful thing. It can be something that's authentic and it's pure, it's trust, it's transparency. 
but you've got to you've got to look at it and bring something that gives it that light, gives it the ability. I mean, social impact. Right. I think is a huge thing that nobody talks about in digital currency is how do we impact a lot of people's lives with trust and transparency to these charities. Donators are wanting to, sponsors are wanting to give, but they don't know where their money's going. Right. Blockchain, the trust and transparency allows you to see where your money's going. And you can know that it's going in the right places. It's affecting the right places. And that's super passionate. Yeah. That's a passion for us. Th that's a story that we try and tell on trade talks all the time, whether it's smart contracts or ticket purchases or event purchases. So I appreciate you helping us tell that story. So to wrap yeah. up here, what do you foresee uh, the future in with blockchain and, of course, for NASCO? Well, it's definitely here to stay. You know, I think the world, we've come to a place that people are scared. You know, I go over to China and there's all these scams going on. They want trust. They want to connect. They want to eliminate the red tape, the firewalls, giving people a chance to really connect with each other. And for us, we're, we're all about, you know, it's funny, everybody's still in blockchain. We're building all the tools on top of it. We're already, we're already a year down the road mm -hmm. about to release products on top of blockchain that nobody looks at its blockchain. They look at the usability of what blockchain can provide them. And that's really our focus right now is taking it, you know, 10 years down, down the, uh, the road of saying, hey, this is where the world's going. This is how we connect people and really give people a way to utilize it. All right, it. I suspect we'll have you back as we get more pipe, pipe chain and product Woo! announcements, right? Well, Eric, thank you very much for joining me at Market Site. Thank you. And thank you for joining me. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ.